The Vietnam Wall in Washington, D.C. is an emotional experience for many visitors. Armstrong. But on a trip earlier this month through the honor flight, right here. the men who fought in the war got to see the names of those they knew and lost. Many of them got a thank you of their own. Thank you for everything you've done. 220 veterans from Central Ohio flew to D.C. for a day to visit the memorial and others thanks to the honor flight. That includes Donald French from North Columbus, who was in Vietnam for a year. When we come home, there was that deal about baby, baby killers and what we did. And we didn't intentionally hurt nobody. But yeah, it's, it was different. We, they didn't get a good welcome home and uh, that was a sign of the times. Along with visiting the memorial for his military family. The ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard. Donald also got to witness the changing of the guard at Arlington Cemetery. A place he unfortunately knows on a personal level. Among the thousands of men and women buried here is his son, Donald Eugene French Jr., who served in the Army and fought in Iraq. He died in April of 2020, leaving behind his two boys, his wife and parents. It hurt. It hurt a little bit, but at the same time, he ain't hurt no more. He's in a better place. Donald says he was glad to take this emotional trip with other veterans who can understand that loss in every branch of the military. You know everybody, they're all friends. You've all got something to talk about. Yes. He says the talk that day was mostly about how appreciative they are for this trip to the nation's capital, which had lots of surprises along the way. And on this Veterans Day, while it may seem like a small gesture, Donald will tell you a simple thank you for your service does go a long way. Makes you feel honored, makes you feel good. Anytime somebody thanks you for doing something, makes you feel good. Karina Nova, 10TV News.